Internash, it's all about living a glamorous life. Private jets around the world, access to anything and everything that money could buy. But I want you to know, it wasn't always this way. This is the beginning of my journey. From deep tradition and humble beginnings. A beautiful country, mighty in spirit, I remember as home. I turned everything I could find into an instrument of self-expression. I didn't know it then, but this tradition of rhythm and magic, it comes from my ancestors. It runs deep within my veins. I felt it in my bones when I was a little kid. And since then, I've always found myself looking for some way to be expressing music from within my soul. However, life prevented me from being fully expressive. It's a shame. We live in a world where we are exposed to a ton of complicated and scary beliefs. As much as that was torturous to my soul, I really did my best at being my most happiest and creative self in every possible way. I remember when I was 10 years old and I was made fun of for just being me. I didn't know how to throw a football. I didn't know how to ride a skateboard. I didn't do daredevil tricks on my bicycle. I didn't play with action figure toys, nor did I pretend to be Superman. The world wanted me to be your typical boy, but it just wasn't who I was. And because of that, I got bullied and pushed around. It was terrifying. I had to hide who I really was, who I was intended to be. My soul was marginalized. I could remember always feeling so ashamed that my soul had practically vanished from the earth. It was torture. I became extremely self-conscious of every move, Why gesture, so and sound that I made. Why can't, Why can't people, people just accept, accept me for me? Life, family, and society has many funny boxes it will try to put you in. And I just didn't fit into any of those boxes. I was a carefree, loving, excited, and creative kid. I attended New York City High School for the Performing Arts, also known as the Fame School. I studied classical ballet. For the first time, I was able to be my creative and fun self. It was truly the most wondrous part of my life. I chased after girls and had several crushes, up until my senior year, when I started having an attraction to guys and questioning my sexuality. I just wanted to love and be loved. At 17, I packed my bags and moved from Brooklyn to Manhattan to study musical theater at Marymount Manhattan College. When the bullies ran away and my family wasn't around and it was just me against the world, I asked myself, who am I? I felt like I had to choose something practical versus having full self-expression. 
And so for a short period of time there, I felt so disconnected and lost, with no explanation of why I felt this way, and no one that I can talk to. It was a scary and confusing time for me. College was extremely challenging, and although I was on a full scholarship, it was my first time being away from my family. I had to pay my own rent, food, going out and having fun and enjoying that college experience. But it brought up a lot of things from coming from a dysfunctional family. It was very, very hard for me to deal with. And then on top of all that, I had an attraction to guys, which I could not cope with. Suddenly I stopped being creative and self-expressive. There were no more singing lessons or dance and acting classes. I had no interest whatsoever in being creative. I let the stress of life and the demands of being a student really bring me down. I was searching for a place in the world. The world wanted me to be something I was never going to be. Until one night, I decided I had to pull myself up out of those dark feelings and get back in touch with the real Dex. I'll never forget, it was, you know, mind you, a school night, and we go downtown to this club, and I walk in, the music was just pumping. The bass was just like, wow. I felt it just inside of me. Then people were walking runway and strutting. And suddenly, wow, I started moving to the beat and like working it. It was just like, I came alive. It was in that moment that music saved me. It gave me life. I remembered who I was and what was important. It empowered my soul. It slapped me in the face, big time. It woke me up. From then, I was out on the town almost every night of the week. I quickly became a fixture on the scene and was officially inducted into New York City's nightlife society. I went to all the hot clubs, gay circuit parties, after hours, every major fashion party, you name it, I was there. I was on every guest list, and I knew all the big players in the scene. It was beyond and over the top. It felt like I found my place in the world. And because of that one night out, I was given access to a world I would have never else known. The best was having the opportunity to be a backup performer for Kevin Aubiance. I was my most carefree and creative back then. It was a magical carpet ride in itself, one that took me around the world and allowed me to be me. You name it, we did it. The cult following was a surge of energy, mind-blowing. We had a residency at the Roxy and were the opening act for several artists, such as Beyonce, Cher, Bette Midler, and Mariah Carey. It motivated me to want to do more, but at the time I didn't know what that looked like. And just as I was living my best life, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, society's belief systems overcame me. Once again, I started feeling unworthy and guilty for being me. I felt I needed to be more respectable in the eyes of the world, the very picture of a successful man. Although it was hard for me to say goodbye to all the glory and a community that loved me for who I was, I just had to trust that the universe was taking me in the right direction. So I retired my wigs and dancing shoes in exchange for a seat in the beauty boardroom and was off to building my new company, Dex New York, into a successful makeup brand. And although this was good, good was not good enough for me. 
I still felt as though a part of me was lost. The essence of my creativity had vanished. It was as if my quest for success was stripping it away from me. And little by little, I forgot how magical I was. I wanted lime green, fuchsia, purple, magenta, and all the world was giving me was basic khaki. It was like trying to bang a square peg into a round hole. I had reached a level of success, making it to the spotlight, but realized it wasn't the right spotlight. I've learned anything that you truly love, you have to set free in order for it to return to you. As I look back on everything that happened from being lost in college, trying to find myself and starting my own makeup line, nothing seemed to fit. I knew my greatness was something else. I just had to trust the magic, knowing that all the work I was doing was preparing me for something really great. Wow. So when you get lost in your struggle, just remember your magic. Anything is possible as long as you have faith in the impossible. You gotta strip away what stands between you and your destiny. And I know life can be hard. Most importantly, you must never forget who you are. Your salvation is in remembering yourself, your dreams, and that you can get there. We're all born to be great. The highest intelligence of our essence, our wholeness, is to become once again what we once were. Free and living life without fear. One of my greatest gifts is watching people do the thing that they were meant to be doing. So whether that's painting, singing, acting, dancing, Whatever that is, being a great mom, I want you to go and do that great thing. Take your next step towards greatness. Live life passionately. It will love you back the same. Please do subscribe to my channel for all updates and new releases coming soon.